Hey, this is Paolo from the DMB Academy and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make jump pop bases like the ones in the track Lumberjack by Serum. So this is the original track. And this is the base we're gonna be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos, and also share this video with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this tutorial. Don't forget that if you want to get access to a lot of free samples and presets and also masterclasses, you can become a member of the DMB Academy Free Access. The link is in the description below. Also, if you want the preset and the private file from this video, you can join Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so before we jump into Serum, these are the notes in the piano roll that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's go into Serum. And here in Serum, we're gonna add a sine wave on each oscillator. So we're gonna load one in B and one in A. Once we have this set up, we're going to bring the level of oscillator B all the way down and we're gonna map a level into it. The reason why is because we want oscillator B to be a secondary harmonic of this oscillator A, which will act as a sub. Now, to get rid of all these clicks and get the right rhythm, we're going to set this LFO on envelope, change its shape like this, and then add a bit of attack and release into this envelope. Awesome. Now let's go into the effects tab and we're going to turn on the distortion. And this is already like 70% of the sound, but there's still a lot of series of fine tunings that we need to do in order to achieve a texture like the one in the original track. So for this, we're going to activate the filter on the distortion, set it into a bandpass, and change its cutoff. That's cool. Let's turn on a chorus. Let's add some gain with a compressor. And then let's boost some harmonics with an EQ. Let's keep experimenting with this. Don't boost too much because it can distort. But if it does, bring the master down. That's cool. So this is as close as we're gonna get to the sound inside of Serum. So now let's jump into some post-processing. So the first element of post-processing is gonna be adding an erosion. And this is just a noise generator that we can fine tune using its cutoff. So we're going to set it at around 2.8 kilohertz. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use trash 2 in the multiband mode and we're going to go into the mids and choose the mode saturate and saturate the mids. On the highs we're just going to boost a little bit of the output. And after trash we're going to EQ the sound to reduce the second harmonic boost this up a little bit and add more air into the sound. Then we're going to add some reverb. And now you can always go back into any point of the process, such as, for example, the mix of the second harmonic, the shape of your LFO, the cutoff of the distortion and other stuff like the EQ. Alright, so we learned how to make a bass similar to that track. Now let me show you how to extrapolate this patch and turn it into something different. So obviously the first place to begin is with the pitch of oscillator B. You can maybe bring it down and put it seven semitones up or maybe two octaves up and of course you will need to go back into the melody and change it to something different 
maybe something like this. And then, I don't know, having a response base here, like dun 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 and then repeat it. Now you can always go back into the patch and change the harmony. That's actually a pretty good start for getting some inspiration to write your own original track. So that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.